neighbor next door, Tom's got a pizza oven in his backyard, and so we're gonna go make some pizza with him. And you're welcome to come along and join us. It's gonna be fun and delicious. Mozzarella! <laughs> in this video. Come with me behind the wall where we're making pizza with Tom. So when uh, we pull the next pizza out, yep. leave it on Here we the are. stone. Uh, if you happen to watch our camping cooking video, um, this guy right here is Tom. He's green shorts. Hello. And he's, he's also made a pizza oven by hand. He made the door by hand. He's made everything. <laughs> And so we're going to cook our pizza in his pizza oven, which is sitting at 500 degrees right now. So Tom does all kinds of DIY stuff out here in his backyard. I'm a maker, not a baker. It's always fun to look over the fence and see what he's working on um, and just see all the cool projects that he, he makes. It's never good to be standing downhill from you. Yeah, because you, know, you can stand up <laughs> yeah. here. And, like, Let's change awesome. positions. <laughs> That's, more, That's more like it. <laughs> Same height. <laughs> the back of the oven here is actually a rocket stove. We've got a firebox here with a grate that's elevating the fuel. And then, so the air is coming underneath up through the fuel and that gives us that smokeless boosted burn. This riser right here is actually made out of lava rock and stove mortar. So got a thousand degrees in this firebox but the outside of this is only about 185 degrees so you can see how well that's insulating then the fire curves up the back of the oven travels across the top where we have the rebar arch and then out the top here nice yeah so it's gonna be good thank you anyway let's get cooking When I was 16, I worked at Sabaro's for two years. Um, so, you know, I really know what I'm doing when it comes to making pizza. One of the most important things is you want to put some, this is cornmeal, but you can use something else that's, that's nice and gritty on your peel so that the pizza will slide off nice and easily. And you want to get some flour. Get it on your, get it nicely on your surface. And the trick to getting a good crust is you're gonna press around the edges and you're gonna let that crust piece just kind of stay nice and thick and you're just gonna stretch out the center of the dough ball that you've got. is going in the oven. This is going to be way better than what I'll see Sign a shoot 
This is our second pizza and it is going to be delicious because this stove and Tom's whole setup here is, is just perfect for making a pizza. If you are interested in finding out how to make your own rocket stove powered pizza oven, head it, we'll have some links below in the video and you can get head over to his Green Shorts channel. He's got several videos about how to make them and so I don't know, I think we're going to cut this thing up and finish this off. If you liked our videos, please like and subscribe. Bye! This one's for me! No! See ya. <laughs>